what's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel please don't mind the gucci bags i've been up all night but i'm here today with the final video in the immigration series which will entail the visa interview and how long it takes after the interview for the visa to be issued so my visa interview was on the 13th of january 2022 yeah and um at 11 a.m I got there at around 10.55 when I uh, went through all the processing, went inside. When I went there, there were a lot of persons there waiting, like maybe 30 persons. They collected my passport, the two passport size photos, um, my birth certificate, and uh, there was something else that they collected. Um, Mm, the w2s right so they had only wanted the 2019 2020 w2 but now um if you're doing interviews now you you'd need the 2021 so just make sure that you have the latest ones when you're going there no made it nervous and Persons might wonder why I would be nervous. My marriage is not a sham. My marriage wasn't one of those green card marriages. I, I know what I need to know about my husband. And um, I had a US visa before. As a matter of fact, I was just in the US. I came down on the 29th, uh, did my, my medical on the 31st of December, and then my interview on the 13th. But, but it's still nervous, and this is why. And I'm digressing a bit. So, I have bad blood with the, uh, the kings and embassy. Let's say we have a messy past. Kings and embassy denied me a visa three times. No, I was denied the J1 visa twice and uh, the B B1, B2 one time. Now, J1 visa, for those who don't know, it's a visa that you get when you go on the the work and travel program like for um university students no people not get turned down j1 visa well me never hear about nobody will never get the j1 visa but me got it two time i never get it no i don't know why but people speculate and said that um possibly because my mother was overseas because mommy does travel on the hotel program so she was in the states at the time so people were saying that that could be a reason but anyways needed already make up my mind so me not ever go back to the u.s embassy that was it for me and i went to russia I was in russia i wanted to travel back home to jamaica and um the tickets were cheaper through the u.s so i went to the embassy there and i didn't even apply for a visitor's visa i applied for a transit visa that's how much we know we want to get turned on again because i don't know for anybody else but the rejection for me it did something to my confidence when somebody tell me that oh you're not qualified for enter them country bro anyways we applied for the transit visa and i was given my three-year transit but after that no i heard that with the transit you can stay up to two weeks in the u.s given that the u.s is not your final destination so and that was good enough for me because i was always probably traveling to jamaica or traveling somewhere else so two weeks normally spend like three days in the u.s and then move on to the next destination so anyways when i met my husband in 2016 i started dating we had a telephone relationship really and he wanted me to visit and i'm like i don't have a, a u.s visitor's visa and he was like oh why don't you go go ahead and look about the visitors i'm like me looking for money my money <laughs> so he had to send that money to me in russia and i went to the embassy in moscow and i got the visitor's visa so me going back to kingston now it was it was nerve-wracking for me because we don't know what me and Kingston have. Kingston already turned me down three times and me I say, I don't really know why they turned me down and now I'm here with them, right? So I'm sitting there, I'm listening to the, the interviews of persons going on, I'm listening to the questions and stuff and I'm like, okay, everybody getting it. 
one lady for the most part i realized she never but she had some real issues with her stuff she never got it and um other persons were given given this form maybe they had things outstanding but persons were getting it for the most part so i was a very last person to get interviewed i guess because i went there that late i went there you know jamaican people stay them get 11 o'clock interview them i reached the from 10 o'clock but me reached the arm um, was 11 o'clock on the dot so i mean last did the day anyways i went to this older white gentleman and his first question to me was uh who's doing the filing so i told him my husband why not he said um he asked me where did you guys meet remember me telling him that i'm nervous i'm very nervous right so i said we met at a party i'm not even thinking that um parties to um, an american would be totally different like it, it would carry a different meaning than what we in jamaica would think who you know think a party is because so he his next question was um how did we end up at the same party so i'm like he was on vacation and i was on vacation and he went to the party and i went to the party hmm? it's like the man tired enough because you know, me told us me last i do the interviews and the man so i get frustrated like like you could ask the same i get impatient like what can i answer that I mean, I know what the answer said now because me I said, what else? What, what what does he want from me? Like, you don't need invitation. Nobody don't need for um for invite you for go on one party. You just here's a dance. I keep down there when you go to dance, right? Because it was a dance really, but um me say party. So, man say, you ask me the same question. How did you guys um end up at the same party? So he he, he was like is it like a mutual friend like somebody gave him an invitation and somebody gave somebody who you who bother you guys know gave the info like, okay um his brother invited him and my cousin invited me argument done move on to the next question hmm. nervous uh, kill me now you know because said this man impatient and and whatnot anyways him start asking me about um my husband like um if he has kids and um when was the last time I saw him? Um, he asked if if I've traveled anywhere else apart from the US. I told him, asked if my husband has traveled anywhere else. Told him that as well. Um, <clears throat> then he, I, I didn't I didn't hear when he said to me that he didn't ask for any other documents by the way he didn't ask for anything he gave me about my um my birth certificate then i heard him said uh he's gonna go ahead and cancel my visa because it's illegal then my time then my after beat to my chest you know because me not hear him me never hear when he say my visa is issued me never hear the part then because we are my heart a, a thumb is like me, me not hear everything so the man said he's gonna cancel my visa no let me digress a bit when i was when one of the time when i was rejected for a visa i was there listening to the interviews i remember this lady brought her son in to get his into his visa she had her visa already and they were questioning her about her visa and her travel history and whatnot and in the end they told the lady that she could not get the visa her son was not eligible for the visa and for her because of her travel history they were going to cancel her visa so me see that happen already so of course i'm here the man say he might cancel my visa my heart they right up here so right up so Anyways, me hear then him say because it's illegal to have more than one visa in your book. So me calm down a little now because me say oh, so I say me get the visa, but him will go ahead and cancel the visitor's visa because it's not legal to have more than one visa in your book. Right. So that was that. Then him tell me say me we get the visa back. Me we I'll get a call from the courier an email in about seven days to come and pick up um that email came about five days later and i went to the 
place in Kingston. I think it's on Arden Road. Yeah, the career place is on Arden Road. I went and I, I picked up the visa there. No, um, what they're not doing again, I guess back in the days, people used to get this big brown envelope with everything that they need to take into the US. So they're doing things electronically now. So everything goes ahead of you and um, everything is just done online. Now, there's a $220 fee that you need to pay for the green card and you can pay it before you leave Jamaica, you can pay it when you get into the US and that's for the whole um, US CIS processing for the green card and stuff. I paid it before I left. I paid it before I left, right? Um, and then that was that yes so you guys don't need to be worried or you don't need to be nervous like me like I was yes yeah, so guys uh, if you know your marriage is bona fide you don't really you don't have nothing to worry about with the interview they're gonna ask questions that you should know you I mean you're married to the person you should know about all these things but before I forget if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so because i'll be making other little videos discussing the categories discussing nbc's updates and other little topics that you will find helpful with your immigration journey now stay tuned and thanks for watching see you in the next one